Hi everybody and welcome to the Amorati Test Kitchen. I'm Lauren and today we are going to be making one of my favorite treats, a uh, rum cake. But I'm going to give a little Amorati twist to it using our vanilla bean artisan natural flavor and our natural butterscotch extract. So what you're going to need for this recipe is cake flour, salt, baking soda, baking powder, egg yolks, here we have our butterscotch extract and our vanilla bean artisan already measured out. Some vegetable oil, some more sugar here, egg whites, rum of course, granulated sugar, buttermilk, butter, and chopped pecans. So, let's get started. Our first step is to combine all of our dry ingredients. So I'm just going to pour in our sugar, our baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And I'm just gonna mix this all together until it's very well combined, very carefully so you don't spill everything out of your bowl. All right, everything is now nicely mixed together. I'm going to set our dry ingredients aside for later. All right, so now that all of our dry ingredients are combined, let's mix together our wet ingredients. We have our rum, our butterscotch extract, vanilla bean artisan here, buttermilk, Egg yolks. These are room temperature as well. Some vegetable oil. Lastly, our melted butter. I'm going to pour this and whisk at the same time. We don't want to cook our egg yolks with the hot butter. Our dry ingredients are done, our wet ingredients are done, so now it is time to whip up our egg whites. So I'm just going to throw them into our mixer here with a little bit of sugar. And let's turn this on. Our egg whites are nice and whipped, and I'm actually going to remove these from the mixer and start with our dry and wet ingredients and then reincorporate them back in so they don't lose their fluffy texture. So it's okay if you don't get it all. Um, you just wanna make sure you get most of it to combine with your wet and dry ingredients once those are combined to make sure they stay nice and fluffy when we pop our cake into the oven. Next up, we are going to combine our wet and dry ingredients. So I'm just going to pour all of those dry ingredients we mixed together earlier into our mixing bowl. And pop back on the whisk. And we will slowly add in our wet ingredients. So I'm not going to add all of this in right now, maybe about half. And I'll slowly start to add the rest now. I'm gonna scrape down the sides a little bit just to make sure we get everything really well combined. And it looks like our mixer did a pretty good job here. So I'm gonna give it one quick mix and then we are going to add in our egg whites until they are just combined. You do not wanna overmix that. So 
So I'm going to add our egg whites back into the mixing bowl. We are only going to mix this for a few seconds. We don't want to over mix it and lose that fluffy texture from the egg whites. Perfect, that's it. Like I said, just a few seconds and now it is time to put our batter into our pan. So we are almost ready to pop this rum cake into the oven, but first we have to put it into our pan. So to add a little extra fun pizzazz to our cake, I chopped up some pecans and I'm going to put them in the bottom of the pan, which will actually become the top of our rum cake. I also pre-oiled this and sprinkled the pan with some sugar. So that's going to make it really, really easy to come out after we're done baking. All right, I'm just gonna spread our batter into our pan now. Try and do it as evenly as possible here. I've made this about three times here for the Amoretti family and none of those cakes lasted more than a couple of hours. All right, perfect. Now it is time to pop this in the oven. Now that our butterscotch rum cake is in the oven, we are going to make an extra delicious butterscotch sauce to pour on top of it when it comes out. What you're going to need is butterscotch syrup, our vanilla bean artisan, some butter, brown sugar, water, and rum. If you do not have butterscotch syrup, you can substitute that for the butterscotch extract that you used in the cake. I personally really like the butterscotch syrup because it adds a touch more sweetness and gives it a very well-rounded flavor to the sauce. So first step, let's put our butter into the pan and let that melt. Okay. Our beautiful butterscotch rum cake is finally finished baking. It took about 50 minutes. You'll know it's done when you poke a toothpick in and it comes out clean. So before we pour the sauce we made on top, we are gonna poke some holes all around the, well, I was gonna say top, but this is technically the bottom of our cake. Poke some holes around it so it'll absorb the sauce really, really well, get it into every little nook and cranny. All right, so there you have it. Poked all of our holes. Now we're going to pour about half of the sauce we made onto this bottom half of the cake. And just let that soak in. Once you see that all of the sauce has soaked into the cake, we will take it out of the pan and pour the rest on the top. So our sauce is nice and soaked into the bottom of our cake. Now it is time to transfer this to another plate and top it off with the rest of our sauce. Again, I'm going to poke holes into the top, the top of the cake to make sure it absorbs as much of the sauce as possible. And there you have it. Our butterscotch rum cake is finished. Now is the perfect time to slice into it while it's still warm or you can save it for later. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. And if you make it at home, be sure to share some pictures with us on social media. You can find us at Amoretti on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. See you next time.